What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mano e Mano. And so this week, I dove into some pizza. And so I got two different slices. And uh, place number one is going to be Beggar's Pizza, which... There you go. <laughs> Beggar's Pizza, proud partner of Chicago White Sox. And then also got Rosati's Pizza. And so uh, it's just kind of cool. Both these places actually started up in Chicago. So a uh, little like Chicago showdown, actually. Crosstown classic. I don't know. Something like that. You know you call it. But um, so a little bit about... I'll start with Rosati's because I got it here in my hand. A little bit of Ros about Rosati's Pizza. So like finding, finding the date when they started was kind of difficult. Uh, at first, like I read from uh, like Google that started in 1970 with a dude named Rick Rosati. And then, uh, like, Fred, I want to... No, yeah, because Rick... Because recently he died. And so, um, anyways, it said on there, and, like, online, they started in 1970. It's saying on this box they start in 1964. Um, apparently out of Arlington Heights, Illinois. So, uh, where the Bears are going to be possibly playing soon. But, um, yeah, I don't know. They got They got okay pizza. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Probably better. I've had I've had good slices of pizza and I've had bad slices of pizza from Rosati's. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but so yeah, like I said, Rick Rosati, Arlington Heights, Illinois, uh, between the '60s to the '70s, um, something like that. But yeah, looks really good today actually. But um, uh, you do know, yeah, okay. Beggar's Pizza. Beggar's Pizza, the next one. Um, so they started back in 1976, actually in Blue Island, Illinois. So, uh, not the same location, but still Illinois, actually in, like, you know, suburbs about, so, but, um, that was started by a guy named Angelo Gerardo, is that how it was pronounced, or not pronounced, or how I thought it was pronounced, basically, <laughs> but, um, yeah, oh, it says even on the box, yeah, 1976, oh, maybe, this, so, um, yeah, to Chicago, Chicago beasts going at it right here but I'm gonna start I'll start with the beggars oh beggars got that little plastic wrap oh man this slice looks really good I can't We'll show the Rosati's too as well, actually. What a what the hell is that guy? <laughs> oh, a little bit bigger slice. That also looks really good. Definitely, there's like they got seasoning. They got seasoning on the pizza more, some like oregano and stuff, where it, they don't have that on the beggars. But the beggars still looks good, and obviously uses seasoning, most likely maybe in the sauce or something. I don't know. But I'm going to go with beggars first. I don't know who I'm going to like. I haven't had much of each, to be honest. So. One more of the beggars, and then we're going to go straight to Rosati's. Okay. Also, both places have deep dish. Haven't tried the deep dish for me either. I would be interested because I do love deep dish, but deep dish. But that'd have to come at some other point because I got a lot of pizza down today. But this is gonna be the Rosati slice. One more. <laughs> Bro. That's a good looking slice. Yeah. Okay. See, what's crazy to me is 
This is like... Usually when I get slices of Rosati's, the dough is so much more thicker. It's all... It's too much dough. It's not almost. It is too much dough. But this is like the first time it's not too much dough. So this is, is going to change it up a bit. Okay. Going to do a side-by-side -side bite and then come to a verdict. Both, I think this was about 70 cents more and you do get more pizza. But, okay. You didn't see that? I lost my focus. I'm gonna have to take one more now. Okay. Mm. Last one, I swear. Now, like I said, I'm not going to lie, if I got this Rosati slice from like the one in my hometown, I wouldn't have liked it like this, because they use like a freaking double dough compared to this, but today's freaking showdown, it wasn't like that. The sauce was honestly better from Rosati's. The sauce was really, really good. The sauce from Baggers was also really good. I thought it was, like, more hearty from Beggars, where, like, it was more, I don't want to say, like, sweet, because it wasn't, like, super sweet, but, like, it was, like, heartier, more tomato from Beggars, but more, like, kind of flavors within the Rosati's one. Um, the cheese, I kind of like the cheese from Beggars maybe a little bit more. I liked all the flavors that Rosati's put in there, but the cheese itself actually, like, Tastes like some, like, real mozzarella. I'm not saying that, like, it's not real mozzarella or Rosati's, but I think, like, I don't know. Just, it was, like, really, like, the cheese was really good from the Beggars one. Same from Rosati's, but I thought the Rosati's um, was, like, just, like, one more step down. Um, crusts were about the same, but in all, actually, damn, this one's close. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm going to have to go Rosati's, actually. I I just then I don't know. Today's slice is really good. Like I said, I don't have it often, but every time I've had Rosati's before this, it was always too much dough and not enough sauce. But this one, I guess, doesn't do that. So, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my pick today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, I got two other uh, different, like, show ideas uh, hopefully I'm going to be coming out soon with. So be on the lookout for that. And, yeah, just going to keep on having some fun with it. So uh, see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.